What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks video for Fire Emblem Echoes on Nintendo 3DS. Today's video is all about overclassing, and we're going to overclass our Saints into a brand new class on this tutorial with the help of DLC. So if you guys have not gotten the DLC, definitely take a look in the description below. There's a link to get it on Amazon, and of course, you'll help me out by doing so. So let's take a look. Now, in Fire Emblem Echoes, you can play the game without any DLC at all. You'll be fine, and you'll have a great time with it. But with the DLC and getting that whole season pass, it allows you to get a lot more out of the game, uh, such as getting numerous amounts of legendary weapons and, of course, overclassing your units. So case in point, we've got Silk right over here. Uh, I'm in Act 4 currently in my Let's Play, and uh, we did manage to get Silk up to level 20 in her Saint class. That's awesome, but... Normally, if you're playing through the game without the DLC, that's really it. That's as far as you can get with the character. There's no other classes. You've maxed them out. Congratulations. Uh, but now, since we have access to the Altar of the Fairy, we will indeed reclass or overclass her into something brand new. Uh, same thing goes with Titania. I've been using Titania recently, and we actually maxed her out. And taking a look at her stats, we use a Star Jacinth in order to maximize every single level up. So that she ended up turning out to be better than Silk, which is pretty crazy, considering we've had Silk from the very beginning of the game. But we didn't have access to the Star Jason. Nonetheless, let's move into it. So as usual, uh, click on Connect, go to Manage DLC, go to Play DLC, and you want to go over to Altar of the Fairy. If you have not purchased the DLC, you can do so right over here, and redeem your codes right in that menu. But anyway, we're going to head right over to Altar of the Fairy, right here, and load it up. It's gonna be great. So, Altar of the Fairy. I'm excited for this because now we can continuously use those characters. Here lies a forgotten altar left behind by one of the gods of yore. After the ancient folk chased them from this world in ages long past, altars such as this grant the power to overclass, to transcend mortal limits. This one is called the Altar of the Fairy. She ruled the daughters of the gods with purifying light and healing power. Only those who walk the path of the saint may receive her boon. If there are those among you the altar deems worthy, then venture forth and offer your prayers to this goddess of yore. Its power derives from a different line of magic than what we know today. While difficult to master, it would surely make you a force to be reckoned with. Alright, <clears throat> there's really nothing to examine around here. I think you can take a look at what, like the, the interior? The whole place exudes this strange power. I should poke around inside. Yes, absolutely. Good idea, Alm. Not going to comment about the candles, the cracks in the floor. All right, whatever. All right, so you can leave and, or you can head to proceed, and we're going to enter the dungeon. So make sure that you have your characters that are ready to get um, promoted in your 1 through 10 slots. To, case in point, we have Titania ready, and we have Silk ready. So let's click on Explore, and let's do some exploring, shall we? All right, here goes Altar of the Fairy. <clears throat> uh, I don't think that there's going to be anything to look around in. I think it's pretty straightforward. So, yeah, just looking at the map, it shows that it's just a straight line forward. So let's move on. And we're here. So that's a pretty easy DLC dungeon, right? So this is it. This is the idol. Uh, it's a woman in a fancy dress. Okay, that's... Interesting. That's really all we can see inside here. Nothing about the candle or the fire in front of us. All right, so we're going to go to the idol. We're going to go to change class, and then we're going to do Silk first because she's the OG cleric of our team. So now we're going to turn into the exemplar, uh, the path of a saint who has achieved mastery. Ladies and gentlemen, our very first overclass in the Let's Play. How cool is that? Pretty cool. We can see her hair now. She's not wearing that I little cap. New mission with humble determination. That's great. Okay, looking at that. Very nice. That's a cool little uh, helmet there. But her artwork. Her artwork still shows her hair inside that little hat that she has. So yeah, I'm kind of getting like a Palutena kind of vibe here a little bit. Uh, and now we've got two new magic spells. Ward and Restore. We'll take a look at those in just one second. But before we do, let's actually get Titania going. And you can tell that we're uh, we're at the top of our stats because the only stat increase we're going to get 
is the plus one in HP. So speaking of Palutena, this is really the Palutena vibe with the green hair and everything. So that's Palutena inside Fire Emblem. Yes, it is with the shield and everything. Wow. <laughs> I swear to use these powers wisely, Mother. All right, looking very cool. Uh, I do like it a lot, and we get Ward and Restore off of that. Okay, so let's take a look what it, what Ward and Restore does. Uh, we're gonna go to inventory. We can look at Silk. If you click on War Ward, uh, raises raises the adjacent ally's resistance for one turn. Not really sure if that's uh, like a plus two, plus five, anything, but it's like a rally resistance. If you guys have played the other uh, Fire Emblem games, and of course we got Restore. Removes ailments from allies in range. So that's really good in case you come across any uh, Venom Sword or like some sort of stun fangs that happen in the DLC sometimes. Yeah, so that's pretty decent. And we got Titania over here with the 163 rating and Silk with the 156. So they're pretty decent as far as their growths and everything like that. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Absolutely am. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it. The Altar of the Fairy. That's really what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we'll show you guys all the other Overclass episodes very soon, so stay tuned to it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue on with even more Fire Emblem Echoes. If you guys want more tips and tricks and DLC content, definitely click over here to watch the entire playlist. You can check out the newest video on my channel there, and of course watch my Let's Play where we can see these two beautiful ladies in action. They're just going to destroy. It's awesome. So, Hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on the latest and greatest Fire Emblem content, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.